Hey guys, welcome to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff, and today is gonna be vlog number one, and I'm gonna just kind of document my fragrances throughout the week. Uh, I'm gonna record it. Anytime I do something with fragrance, I'm gonna let you know what the weather is, what I'm wearing, why I'm wearing it, if I'm going to the gym, what am I wearing to the gym, if I'm going out, what am I wearing. Um, and anytime I go to the store, I'll document what I'm doing at the store. Now, I'm just kind of testing this out. I don't know if I'm gonna keep on doing this, but we'll see uh, as we go along how it works. But I, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know what you've been wearing this week, where you're from, and what, what was the weather like? So we can kind of start piecing together. you like, you know what, that, that's a great time for that fragrance. Um, but yeah, just testing this out. Uh, I started off doing it horizontal, then I realized it was much easier to vlog vertical, so I'm gonna do a hybrid of horizontal and vertical this week, but from weeks on out, it's gonna be all vertical in the video. And yeah, this is just my, my weekly vlog number one. So yeah, let's check it out. What's up guys? It's a beautiful 77 degree day today in Los Angeles, and my fragrance of the day is Elysium O Intense by Raja Parfums. Lime, rhubarb, and dry woods is what comes off the most to me. Super enjoy it. It works really, really good. I got a couple compliments from wearing it um, when I first sprayed it on, but other than that, I'm just enjoying how it sits on my skin. It's one of those ones that you like, when it works for you, it works for you. And this one works for me. So it's Monday, January, I think it's 29th. Beautiful day, Elysium, oh intense. What's up guys, it's Monday night. It's a little bit chilly outside, I'm wearing a hoodie. I'm about to go to a stretch class. Um, I'm wearing Howis Ice. So Howis is one of those ones that really, I actually like Howis and Howis Ice better in the cold than I do in the warm. So Howis Ice is my fragrance of the night. It's Tuesday, January 30th. It's a low 70 degrees in Los Angeles today, but I'm going to the gym. So I'm wearing my favorite gym scent of all time. This is Pole Sport Fresh. If this fragrance lasted more than two to three hours, I would be a compliment beast for everybody, but it doesn't, but it is a perfect gym scent because of that. So sunny, blue skies, late 60s, early 70s degree weather, uh, cool, cool, not hot, well, not warm day. So yeah, uh, this is my gym scent to start the day. It's a perfect Tuesday in Los Angeles. Look at those palm trees. My fragrance of the day today was Prada Lome. It was a cool day today. It was like 70 degrees. It was blue skies earlier today. Now it's cloudy out, but it was a fantastic way to start the day. Super clean, felt great, sexy soap. Prada Lome's always hits great, especially if you have work meetings, work, school, office, whatever. Prada Lome is nice. It's Thursday, February 1st, and it is a cold, rainy day in Los Angeles today. And I decided to wear a comfy, cozy, layering combination of Sauvage Eau de Parfum layered with Whispers in the library. It's cozy, it's cuddly. Whispers is a waxy vanilla smell, so it kind of turns it into this waxy, warm Sauvage. It's nice. Anyways, that's my fragrance of the day uh, for this cold, rainy day in Los Angeles. It's Thursday night, and I wore my favorite fall cold weather fragrance. I wore Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. Went to the movies, it's cold outside, wanted to smell great, and it's one of my favorite cold weather fragrances, so I rocked that. I also went to the mall. Bad Boy Cobalt Elixir, the newest from Carolina Herrera. This is a sequel to Bad Boy Cobalt. This one is a richer, denser version than the original in almost every single way. If you like the original, you'll like this, but overall, it's just a richer version of the same fragrance. So I'm at Bloomingdale's and I just went to their men's fragrance department and their men's fragrance department is severely lacking. Uh, currently, I wouldn't suggest going for designers at Bloomingdale's. It's like below average, uh, but they do have a ton of niche. So I'm about to head over to the niche side. I'm at the Bloomingdale's Creed Boutique. They pretty much have the entire collection. They are completely sold out of Absolute Aventus now. Heading into a Macy's, let's see what they got. And Macy's had absolutely nothing. They're pretty low in stock on pretty much everything still. And they said they anticipate more stuff to come in next week, but this Macy's was a letdown, but it was better than Bloomingdale's. The new Killian, Born to be Unforgettable. It is a fresh Coca-Cola fragrance. If you remember the fragrance, bad boys are no good, but good boys are no fun. This is a modern, updated, fresher take on that Coca-Cola DNA. 
Born to be Unforgettable is my fragrance of the day for Friday, February 2nd. Uh, it reminds me of Boys by Killian, but it is a nice, fresher version. I'm actually really digging it on I think we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. While I was in Sephora, I also tried the new Flower Bomb Tiger Lily. This is the newest from the female line from Victor and Rolf. I didn't love this one. It was just okay for me. I think you'd smell nice wearing it, but it wasn't my jam. It's a pretty uneventful day at the mall today. Uh, not a lot of new releases. In fact, there was only one new release that I got to try, but it happened to be my most anticipated new release that I wanted to try this year, which was Born to be Unforgettable by Killian. I've always liked Boys. It's a fun, different, unique smelling scent. This one's a little bit fresher. The Coca-Cola has lingered a lot longer than the original Boys did, so we'll keep on testing it out. It's Friday, it's almost 8 p.m. at night. I've had on Born to be Unforgettable pretty much most of the day. Pretty much a skin scent at this point, but it still smells. It's got the little hint of that Coca-Cola, which if you ever tried Bad Boys, Bad Boys Coca-Cola smell went away pretty quickly, but for me, I can still pretty much smell it. But when I smell my clothes where I sprayed it on, also I can really smell the Coca-Cola on my clothes compared to my skin. Uh, I actually enjoy it. It's a unique scent. It won't be for everybody, but if you know you like Bad Boys, you'll probably like Born to be Unforgettable because it's just a tweaked version that's slightly fresher than the original and it's created by Alberto Marias. It's Saturday morning. I am on my way to the gym. This is Universal City. Uh, I wore uh, Intelligent H2O to the gym today. It's a bright, summery, fresh fragrance. It's part for the gym, it's super strong too. But yeah, there's, uh, uh, if you can see, there's Universal City in the background. But started my day off at the gym, so yeah, let's go. It's later in the day today in Los Angeles. It looks like it's about to rain and I wore Bad Boy Cobalt Elixir to test it out. If you like the original, I think you'll really like this. If you didn't like the original, I don't know if that'll swage you into liking it. It's nice. I'm not obsessing over it right now. I don't think it smells bad, but it's not something I would probably gravitate to on the regular. But if you liked the original, I think you really will like this one. So my fragrance of the day for the second half of Saturday is Bad Boy Cobalt Elixir. I'm with my boy Luke. We're at Ulta Fragrance Shopping right now. I'm wearing Eros today. Luke, what are you gonna wear today? I'm wearing nothing right now. We're gonna find out what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> we'll come back when we find out what he's gonna wear. We're actually getting a fragrance. What are we getting, Luke? We're getting Billie Eilish's fragrance number one. It has an amber gourmand scent featuring notes of sugared petals, creamy vanilla, and warm musks. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting it for Huli, who's been a guest on the channel. Yep. Um, Interesting. It's a nice one. Yeah. Billie Eilish has a nice fragrance. We also tried Fame, Taco Rabanne. I like that one. Uh, we tried the new Ariana Grande Cloud Pink. That was good. Um, yeah, and I introduced Luke to Geo Parfum as well. Fragrance of the day is YSL's Myself. This has been a go-to the past, how many days, Jeff? Four or five days? Four or five days. I introduced yeah. it to him last week and he's been obsessed with it. Yeah, it's a nice powdery, sweet, kind of sexy vibe. I like it. Thanks for tuning in to my vlogs for the week. This is what I wore throughout the week. I finished the day wearing Eros, um, Eros Eau de Parfum, I should say. I hadn't worn it in a long time. I smelled good wearing it. I went to a birthday party and it was a nice little thing. And we're having a massive rainstorm in LA. So Eros is kind of cozy and kind of fit that little rain vibe. Uh, but the, for throughout the whole week, I have to say the ones I had the best time wearing and I wore the longest was probably Prada Lome. I wore that day into night. I, I wore it the whole day. And then I really enjoyed testing out Born to be Unforgettable. Those were my probably my two favorites of the week. And yeah, um, that's it for week one of vlog. Let me know if you want me to keep doing vlogs, but I actually wanna know what you've been wearing this week. So tell me what your weather is, where you're from, and what you've been rocking. So thanks guys.